Hey guys, Darren here with our 60 second tip of the week to function well. This week I'm going to talk about factors to increase performance and decrease injury. When we look to improve performance and decrease injury, we often look at the workout itself, but the factors beyond the workout are, will often have the greatest impact. So, always warm up and cool down. This is a, just as important as preparing the uh, body physiologically as it is psychologically. So the older we get, we get the uh, longer our warm up needs to be and cool down. Improve your sleep quality and quantity. You know, As we always say, this is probably the most underutilized protocol for improving your health and performance. Definitely stay hydrated. Dehydrated tissue is um, probably more likely or susceptible to strains and tears. Uh, follow a healthy diet, the more inflamed you are, so from foods you're intolerant to, the more inflammation you're going to have in your body. We're going to avoid sitting for long periods of time because, you know, that's in this flex position leads to all sorts of uh, issues. Um, next, we've got to decrease chronic inflammation. So we can look at um, key supplements like fish oils and also coming back to a healthy diet. Um, decrease stress. So take time out to stress less and regenerate. You know, our restoration zone is uh, perfect for that. Um, some really cool, actually, studies coming out with uh, the benefits of saunas, which I'll, I'll bring to you soon. Um, and learn how to set your spine, so your midline, um, which we sort of went through last week with our um, lifting faults to avoid. But learn how to set your midline, and that's uh, the core to extremity principle. All right, team? Factors to increase performance and decrease injury.